Thieves are breaking into Postal Service mailboxes and stealing what's inside. This is an issue we are seeing more of in the St. Louis area, and it's something the Postal Service is saying very little about. Good evening, everyone, and thanks so much for joining us. I'm Michelle Lee. Brent Solomon has the night off. Now we are talking about those blue collection boxes. Thieves are getting sneaky in how they steal the mail as well. As well. Tonight, the I-team's Christine Beyer tells us into what may be causing this issue. Mail theft right now is, it's out of control. Frank Albergo is the president of the Postal Police Officers Union. Until recently, we patrolled uh, carrier routes and we patrolled where mail theft was most prevalent. In the mid 2000s, there were about 1,000 postal police officers on patrol. Now, there's only about 400. And now we're relegated to postal facilities, so Postal police officers during a mail theft epidemic are sitting in postal facilities. Elbergo believes the cutbacks have left mail carriers and mailboxes vulnerable, mostly because keys like this, known as arrow keys, are falling into the wrong hands. They open up all the collection boxes, all the cluster boxes, all the apartment panels, all the relay boxes. In a given zip code. A law enforcement source tells the I-Team mailboxes in the 631 zip code prefix are being hit particularly hard, especially those outside of post offices and after 9 p.m. At least two men have been federally indicted for stealing checks out of mailboxes using arrow keys. Federal prosecutors say thieves would deposit stolen checks into third-party accounts and cash them before banks realized it. What if you can't wait three months to be reimbursed by the bank? What if you what if you live check to check? Albergo said mail carriers are being robbed at gunpoint for their arrow keys. The Postal Service has known about the arrow key problem for at least two years when an audit found the number of arrow keys in circulation is unknown, lost, stolen, and broken arrow keys are not adequately tracked, and inventories are not kept. In a statement, a Postal Service spokesman wrote, we are continuing to address this, but unable to provide details for security reasons. Why don't they want people to know what's going on? They can admit, oh, we're not doing our job, or they could say, uh, no comment. The Postal Service recommends people drop their mail inside their facilities. Albergo said hope is on the horizon for postal police officers. A bipartisan bill in the House could restore postal police authority. Is it going to completely stop mail theft? No, of course not. Mail theft is, is a major problem, but it will help. The I-Team also tried to talk to two police departments about mail theft, including Clayton and Brentwood. Just hours before we were set to interview Brentwood police about the issue, the chief canceled on us, saying the postal inspector asked them not to comment because of an ongoing investigation. For the I-Team, Christine Byers, five on your side.